आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई ऑन न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल्स द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई ऑन न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रगल एवरी डे वी द पीपल of india today is constitution day also known as samvidhan divas which is celebrated in our country on the 26th of november every year to commemorate the adoption of the constitution of india on this day in 1949 on 26th november 1949 The Constituent Assembly of India adopted the Constitution of India which came into effect from 26th of January 1950. The Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment on 19th of November 2015 notified the decision of the government of India to celebrate the 26th day of November every year as Constitution Day to promote constitution values among citizens swatantrata ko bal deta hai samta nyay ka dhal deta hai jiski badalat bharat desh ko mila yahan samman hai bharat ka samvidhan hai the constitution of india was framed by the constituent assembly set up under the cabinet mission plan of 1946 the assembly held its first meeting on the 9th of december 1946 and elected dr sachidanand sinha the oldest member of the assembly as the provisional president pandit jawahar lal nehru called upon the members to take the pledge of dedication at this solemn moment when the people of india through suffering and sacrifice have secured freedom i a member of the constituent assembly of india do dedicate myself in all humility to the service of india and her people to the end that this ancient land retain her rightful place in the world and make her full and willing contribution to the promotion of world peace and the welfare of mankind on december the 11th 1946 the assembly elected dr rajendra prasad as its permanent chairman highlighting the role of the constituent assembly in an infant nation dr rajendra prasad said main ye bhi manta hu ki is constituent assembly ko pura ikhtiyar mukammal ikhtiyar is baat ka hai ki wo apni karwai jis tarah se chahe kare iske andar wo jo kuch karna chahe kare aur isme kisi bhi bahar ki taakat ko अख्तियार नहीं है कि इसकी कार्रवाईयों में वो कुछ भी हस्ताक्षेप या दस अंदाजी कर सके मेंबर्स ऑफ द कंस्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली रिप्रेजेंटेड द डिफरेंट आइडियोलॉजीज एंड डाइवर्स कल्चर ऑफ आवर ग्रेट नेशन द कंस्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली सेट अप 13 कमिटीज फॉर फ्रेमिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ डॉक्टर बी आर अंबेडकर वाज चार्ज्ड विद द हर्कुलियन टास्क ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग द ड्राफ्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन he said let us leave aside slogans let us leave aside words which frighten people let us even make concession to the prejudices of our opponents bring them in so that they may willingly join with us on marching upon that road which as i said if we walk long enough must necessarily lead us to unity despite the diverse opinions the constituent assembly solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic The Constitution of India is the longest written constitution in the world, containing 395 articles, 22 parts, and 12 schedules.
the sections on fundamental rights and fundamental duties in the Constitution of India lay down a foundation for the appropriate behaviour and conduct of citizens. The directive principles guide that the state shall strive to promote the welfare of the people by securing and protecting, as effectively as it may, a social order in which justice, social, economic and political, shall inform all the institutions of the national life. People of India are the ultimate custodians of the constitution. It is in them that sovereignty vests and it is in their name that the constitution was adopted. The constitution empowers the citizen but the citizen too empowers the constitution by following it by protecting it and by preserving it to make it more meaningful with words and deeds. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. Tomorrow.